Alright, this is a Freddy cast review of a horror movie. The horror movie being The Forest, starring Natalie Dormer and Taylor Kinney. I love Natalie Dormer. She's in the Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, and she's in the Game of Thrones, and she's gorgeous. I just love her. And um, Taylor Kinney is from Chicago Fire. And it's got that sexy salt and pepper look going on. <clears throat> so, I am not a huge horror movie person. They terrify me. Uh, a good friend of mine loves them, and I always end up caving and going to the movie with her. But I kind of wanted to see The Force anyway, because Natalie Dormer was in it. Um... So, the premise of the movie is that Natalie Dormer plays Sarah. She also plays her twin, Jess. Jess is haunted, not haunted, you know what I mean. She's, um, she's troubled. There you go. And, uh, she moved to Japan to be a teacher, and Sarah keeps having these dreams, and she thinks that Jess is in trouble, and she's not answering her phone. So she basically up and just leaves her boyfriend to go to Japan, and it's like, gotta find my sister. And the when she gets to Japan, Pan. She starts following clues and whatever, and and uh, she finds out that her sister was last seen going into the suicide forest, which is actually a forest in Japan where people actually go to kill themselves, which is creepy that it's uh, almost based on reality. So. Uh, Sarah meets um, Taylor's character Aiden in a bar and he offers to get a guide and uh, and have him you know show them through the forest so see if they can find Jess. They do not find Jess but they do find her tent. And the guide says if they bring a tent, that means that they haven't decided yet if they're going to kill themselves. So Sarah is basically like, I'm going to sit right here. I'm not leaving. I don't care if it gets dark or whatever. And the guide's like, well, I'm not staying here after dark. You guys are nuts. And Aiden uh, decides to stay with her because... He's such a gentleman. Right. And he, um, so, these strange things keep happening. Um, Sarah meets this, this, uh, teenage Asian girl in the woods while Aiden is sleeping by the fire. And, she dirty and wearing like this weird like prep school uniform and she she says no trust him no trust him and she keeps giggling like a weirdo and it's really creepy and uh so then Sarah's kind of like turned against Aiden and she starts to be kind of like weary of of him and and starts being really like suspicious and then it kind of starts to confuse you because Aiden does start acting stranger towards her 
but you don't know if it's because she's being so hysterical or if he's like a bad guy. So I don't want to give too much away, but my thoughts are that I hate the ending. The ending is like, you know, one of those twist endings where you're just like, really, and it just makes you angry. And as far as like the scary level, out of 10, I'd probably give it a 5. And I mean, I'm pretty easily scared, but I mean, there's parts where you like jump, but it's, it's, you're left with so many questions, like what was real and what was not real, and it's just, I, it, it just leaves a hole in you, like, you don't know how to feel about it, and I don't know how to feel about the movie, I, I, out of five stars, I think I'd give it a two and a half, I mean, they got a good cast, but other than that, It wasn't that great. Sorry, Natalie Dormer. I still love you. You're still awesome. But maybe next time, pick a different project. And there you have it. A Freddy Cats review of a horror.